XOXO, Gothic Girl. <laughs> Pose. <laughs> Good morrow and welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, I'm not sure how you got here, but certainly I'm glad you came. And if you are new here, well, you're in for a treat. All right, if you enjoy chaotic frenetic energy and you're curious as to why I have on headphones, then I suggest you go on ahead and subscribe because I'm gonna tell you about these in another video. No, they're not playing music. Some neurodivergent people may already know what they are and they're giving me life. All right, what are we here with today, Audra? Well, today is another new makeup nonsense bingo, but this one's different. Don't get too excited. There wasn't a lot of new makeup. There wasn't. I'm not wearing my rings or anything. Let me get my shit together. Please hold while I access my own damn account. Mm. All right, so sorry. I was super excited because the video I just filmed is um, so fun. And so <laughs> I should be putting this up around Wednesday, I think. Patrons will most likely have early access to it because uh, it's a whole mess. But uh, get ready with me so I don't wear my rings because I just don't want to get makeup in them, obviously. Anyway, new makeup, nonsense bingo. For those of you that don't know, this was created by my very dear friend, damn near sister at this point, <laughs> Emily Hanhan. And Emily and Teresa as dead have been doing this video for quite a while and I tagged along and sometimes our dear friend Lacey of Spooky Lips and Fat Hips joins us and then there's many more of y'all on the platform that do it as well. If you would, check out what the playlist in the description box below <laughs> ah. what makeup nonsense bingo is is it's essentially just a fun drinking game with will I buy it and a bingo bingo as well so we're gonna go ahead and get started but before we do that I have listen let me just grab this because <sighs> y'all crack me up the scream I scrome when I went to my PO box and received this straw okay Mm. Now here's the thing, for those of you who saw my last new makeup nonsense, I was struggling a bit doing that like lip thing where you're trying to find the straw. This is one of the things that sucks about straws in public places because in a public place you're like trying to like get the straw to your lips without seeming ridiculous and eventually like you either like look down and grab it or you just like drink out of the glass because you just, you feel ridiculous. Uh, <laughs> at least I do. So <laughs> the scream I scrum. A gift for you. You need longer straws for the next new nonsense makeup bingo, LOL, from Sarah. Sarah, I love you for this. <laughs> because the joy, when I opened it and I saw the straws and I saw the note, I was scream laughing. I even called my mom immediately to be like, mom, I have to call you and tell you this. And my mom started cracking up. So Sarah, like high marks, high marks. I appreciate this. Like the smallest things, the, the smallest things bring me so much joy. And I've had such a, like a, an emotional, joyful day. So like, mm. Today we are drinking a combination of a Riesling and uh, a Prosecco, I think. I hope it's not champagne. Anyway, the Riesling is relaxed and I will put whatever the, <laughs> whatever the Prosecco is down here because I've already pre-partied, pre, -partied, pre what is that thing? I don't remember, I, it's pre something, and I can't, I literally can't remember. So anyways, I'm going to show you my bingo card, which is here. And now I'm going to scooch on over to the side. Yes, that is the shadow of my Swiffer. I don't wanna hear any shit. There's a reason I keep it here, because if it's out where I can see it, then I use it all the time, instead of letting dust build up in my home. Thank you, let me scooch.
Okay, now what's gonna make this one different is we did not have a lot of makeup releases. And so, we will probably be going through every single one of these. And I am not even going to bother using a randomizer or anything. I'm gonna go through each and everything. And before I do that, we're gonna go on ahead and take a quick break so that Bo can go use the restroom. Even though I took him out like not that long ago, I feel like it was 30 minutes, but you know what? He's kind of an asshole. Children, you know? They don't listen. I told him last time, I said, you should shit. And he looked back at me like, why would I want to do that? And I'm like, never mind. So enjoy this commercial and Bo and I will be back. <laughs> I'm sweatier, I'm back and I'm sweatier. Uh, so we're just gonna deal with that, okay? Mm -hmm. Also, let me put on my spectacles before we get started. I know you're like, Audrey, are you gonna start this video? No. Beige collection. I'm so confused. Like, I don't, like, here's the thing. I don't know Carly by Bell. I've never, seen them before to be honest <laughs> don't get mad at me don't like come in come in my comments being like Kylie Bagwell does da, da. I don't know YouTube is vast like it's so vast that there are some of y'all uh, there was at least one person on the Nima Tang video who even said I'm gonna go follow Nima Tang thank you for the recommendation Nima has over a million subscribers you know what I mean like so YouTube is vast so just maybe don't tell people they're living under a rock. That's really shitty because like everybody's YouTube experience is tailored to them and also what YouTube wants you to see. So I don't know that that is, I mean, I'm trying to like have like, I'm really trying to have positive vibes for this situation, but like, I, I don't know. I just don't feel like it's doing anything for me. Like I'm looking at it and I don't know what it's supposed to do. So we're gonna look directly on and see like what is happening here. I just don't like it though. Like, let me just be straight up and just start with, I just don't like it, okay? Um, I guess there's a second collection. This is the second collection that Carly Bybell has done. Is it Bible? Is it Bybell? Carly Bybell? Carly Okay, I'm done. I think. Uh, it's just, I mean, the packaging? Yes. Give me this packaging. This packaging is gorgeous, but I don't understand. It's. <sighs> Here's the thing, it's 2021, what I really, y'all have heard me say this, I need face palettes to die. I'm finished with them. I feel like, and that's me, obviously. I found the face palette of my dreams, mine from Midas, I'm happy with that. I'm like, I don't really wanna go any deeper into face palettes. I don't enjoy having loads of them because at some point it's just like, why do I have 17 face palettes? Like I have one face, 17 face palettes. I don't feel like this is giving what they think that it is giving. Uh, is it, it's baked matte bronzer, mineral baked highlighter, a pressed blush, and a pressed highlighter. And they have it in light, medium, and dark. So here's the issue. I feel like using like just pinks for light are, mm, because not every person who's light can wear pink. Like if nothing showed us that, we have to say that reality television definitely showed us that like that's not, it doesn't work. Like some people can wear frosty pink, but a lot of people can't. I just feel like you're with the pink, you're kind of missing out on the people who have olive and orange like underneath. So the pink kind of doesn't do it for them. I am not enthralled by really any of this. The lipstick is uh, like, it's okay. It's okay. Um, and the thing is I like some stuff from Il Maquillage, but this just isn't it. I, I need to see what they're saying in the comments because I feel like I'm, I feel like maybe I'm uh, like everybody likes the swatches. There is wasted space in the palette. So that's something that Karina dot Sophia uh, underscore said all the wasted space in the palettes though, but the packaging is pretty. I do agree. And here's the thing. This is my boo because I absolutely, 
I love Neon MUA. I don't think y'all know how much, like, we don't actually interact regularly, but like, I love them. They are amazing. If you have not checked out their Instagram and their YouTube channel, like, please do. Their looks are out of my league. And he even said, too bad I have the darkest palette and it barely works on me. That's kind of where I am with this. I just don't think that it really works. I think that it's not, it's not doing what they thought it was gonna do. It's not helping all the goyles, it's not helping all the boys, it's not helping everybody, it's not helping anybody. And I feel like it's just, it's kind of sad. Like, I don't understand what happened here. I don't understand why it's not better. I feel like it could have been better. I feel like this is so boring. And honestly, like, <sighs> I hate saying this because I know that people are gonna be like, you're affiliated with Midas and that's why. But what I wanna say is Neon MUA and Midas just broke the mold on what a face palette should look like. Facts, just it's just facts. They broke the mold. They realized that there were like so many levels that were being missed. And I they, honestly, I feel like two more of those and because they had they had four. I honestly feel like just two more in that in that whole thing would like encompass virtually everyone. So I just feel like this isn't this isn't it. And I think I'm going to call it a I'm gonna call it a complexion release with a terrible range because I don't feel like it has any range. I don't think it's encompassing. Like, listen, because I am brown, I'm always like, for some reason or another, I am always stumping for, and I have all these, like, these uncooked chicken friends. I'm stumping for them as well. I just don't think that it's doing what they think that it's, what it's doing. And so we're just gonna leave that behind. You know what I mean? We're gonna leave it in the dark ages. Y'all. They, they released what the Urban Decay and Prince Live Loud in Color palette looks like. I know you can be overwhelmed and you can be underwhelmed, but can you ever just be whelmed? I think you can in Europe. I'm gonna throw this up because I put it in my stories. If you're not following me on Instagram, you should. I have a whole host of fun TikToks uh, if you don't have TikTok, but also, <laughs> I, I have some fire takes, and this is my most fire take. I'm gonna say, I just literally don't understand what happened here. Like, I, ha, how is this, I would die for you. Uh, yeah, they, like, what, where, where is that, where is the seven energy? Where is it, if I gave you diamonds and pearls, like, where is that? Like, I don't feel that coming. Raspberry berry. I don't feel any of that energy coming through in this abysmal, like, ugh. This palette, I knew it was gonna disappoint me. I knew it was. I was aware that I was going to be disappointed. I knew this, I knew it. I was like, Audrey, you're gonna be disappointed. I, mm, even Prince, ugh. Mm. I'm gonna need to take an extra sip for that. Listen, I love this swirly straw because it just like forces me to work hard for my booze and I'm happy for it. It's so ugly. Like Prince was vibrant. Like this is the thing that I want to point out. Prince was a vibrant, a vibrant person, a vibrant being, but he was on New Girl. Here's the thing about Prince, like he rarely did shit like that unless he liked something, like he had to like it. So he liked New Girl enough to be on New Girl, the show. And I just don't understand what happened. I don't like, the king of purple and there's barely enough purple in here to make me excited i literally don't understand why who would why why what we're gonna do is we're gonna slide to the comments because like melissa lee garrett who in the frag knackle approved this yes yes Esra.bss, I know he's disappointed in heaven. Yes! <sighs> like, this is my favorite, because I liked it before, it's from Soft underscore Siren, and they said, if you're gonna disrespect a dead man by releasing makeup he would have never authorized in life, at least put some effort into it, damn. 
Damn is right. I am furious because like, here's the thing. I just don't understand how this has anything to do with Prince and like, I look at it and I just, I just see another basic bitch ass palette. Like this does not scream to me an iconic, like the Prince was an icon. This is not iconic. This is boring. This is basic. This is beige. Prince, have you seen the movie Purple Rain? I'm gonna calm down and like, have you seen it? With Apollonia, like I, the way that my heart is like seriously and sincerely broken for all eternity that this is like what we did. That like this is what Urban Decay did. They were like, we're, we're doing a thing with Prince and it's gonna be hideous. It's so hideous. It hurts my heart. I just, I, I was, I knew I was gonna be disappointed, but I didn't think it was gonna be this bad. It's so ugly that like, my, my, my labia, like, curled up. They have not gone back to their normal stance. My lady business, it is dry. Like it won't come back. Like everything's sad down there. My nipples inverted. Like this is where we are. Like my entire being just repelled against this. And I'm sorry if that's too much, but like that's, that's what I'm going to say. So, um, I am going to categorize this one. <laughs> as the new category, which is, yes, give us nothing, because that is exactly what Urban Decay did. Yes, girl, give us nothing. It is horrible, it is hideous, and I am just beside myself, beside myself. My upper lip is sweating at a level I was not even prepared for. Let me just powder this, let me just powder this. We shall, re we shall return. Next up in this uh, fun party, <laughs> we have a collaboration between ColourPop and Barbie. I'm a Barbie girl in the Barbie world, life in plastic, it's fantastic. This is, um, okay, I, what, the dusty highlighter is, the dusty highlighter, it's the dusty highlighter for me. First of all, uh, I don't feel like <laughs> ColourPop remembered that black Barbie exists. Uh, when I was younger and didn't understand that I had internalized anti-blackness, I did not realize that I didn't like black Barbie because she didn't look like white Barbie and I felt like her, the makeup on black Barbie didn't look good because they tried to put the exact same makeup that was on white Barbie on black Barbie and so it didn't look as good and so like I just didn't like Barbie and also because I uh, am part of the ASD community, I also just generally didn't like to play with dolls because I didn't like that they had faces so I played with shampoo bottles, neither here nor there but now you know a thing about me. If ColourPop wants to keep disappointing me, <laughs> the least they could do is buy me dinner, okay? Just buy me dinner, child. Listen, let me, uh, listen, it's been a while since I brought this out because it hasn't been hot. I just dropped a bunch of shit getting it. We need to have a conversation. Um, Black Barbie exists. This collection isn't cute there's a few shades in there that I'm like yeah those are cute but I'm not gonna buy this for that like shimmer for the two turquoise shimmers like that's that's really what I would be buying it for let me get real about why I would be buying that and it would literally be the two like blue shimmers I wouldn't be buying it for anything else the highlighter dusty as fuck um, <laughs> I'm so serious some of these light shades do not like Here's the thing, if they're not made by persons of color, some of these more beigey, sh beigey shades don't look good on me. They don't, they don't. Only people of color know how to make like a good beigey shade. I'm so sorry, I like, listen, it's true. I have discovered this, like Midas can, uh, Mented can, uh, uh, Oma Beauty can, like can make these like kind of like sandy shades. Even Lunar Beauty can do this, but like they did not care. And they made this and I am sad. And it is embarrassing. It is embarrassing. And somebody was like, I know this is already sold out. And somebody else came and said, it's still available. Of course it is. It's okay. So I like, the thing is, I don't fall into the trap of 
<laughs> loving this, but like y'all know, I don't really get tricked as much by nostalgia. That's because I'm not particularly nostalgic for Barbie. Now, I'm not gonna lie. If there were some good horror collections like a Texas Chainsaw Massacre one, I would probably buy it. But like, listen, I just don't. <sighs> like if they had the sunglasses, I would be like very happy. And I feel like it's very much, it's just not for me. Like good for them, good for everybody who loves it, good for all y'all who are nostalgic for like Barbie and Malibu Barbie and all of that. But like Black Barbie was not included. They could have, like I feel like that's the thing that could have made this like fucking pop is that Malibu Barbie and have like one for White Barbie and like one for the Black Barbie and one for like, we don't know what race that Barbie was, but they were like in between. You know what I mean? They were in between. They were kind of an amalgam of everyone not black or white you know you, you know what I'm talking about because I remember distinctly I was like this Barbie is not exactly Hawaiian they're not Asian they're not Hispanic they're Asian Hispanic Hawaiian so I just I'm not into it uh, I think that like a lot of people really enjoy it but good for y'all good for y'all and what what is it on the bingo card because really i'm just here to eviscerate things because what else am i gonna do on a friday evening when i have these on and my blue light glasses these are so fucking cute i'm gonna wear them all the time i'm adorable now i was adorable before but like i've amped my nerd thing up and like i know you're attracted to me right now it's okay we're gonna call it, it's a color pop release. I told you that was gonna be the song. Okay, y'all. That's for you because I was very excited and when I'm that excited, I save these burps for y'all. Sarah, sincerely, this straw game, on point. BH Cosmetics has a new collection and it's the Say It Collection. Listen to me. I don't know who I am right now. I just heard my internal body do something and I wasn't sure what it was. First of all, I'm, listen, I've been saying this about BH. I'm like, if they would just drop it down to nine, if they would just drop it down to nine, and they did, and I'm like, bitch, yes, yes, give it to me. Give it to me, give it to me, give it to me, give it to me, give me the stuff, that sweet, funky stuff. I am so excited by a lot of these. Like, I don't know why. Like, I feel like, okay, here's what's about to happen. We're going to BH right now because I, I'm so excited by this. I don't want to hear any shit. I'm actually really excited. I'm not, like, this is, this is, this new makeup nonsense is a special one because now that I have to go and like really hunt down my nine to five because I have until June 26 to find that shit or I'm out of house at home. So <laughs> I am fucking stoked on this and I'm going to go ahead and make some purchases because like I'm not gonna get a lot of opportunities. So I definitely want looking like a snack and optimistic AF. I'm also gonna like keep looking because like these are so cute. Like I'm really excited and I know you're like, Audrey, don't you have enough palettes? Listen, probably, probably, probably. I'm not gonna declutter anytime soon. Like palettes are not gonna be decluttered anytime soon. It's probably gonna be a whole other year before I declutter palettes because there's a lot of shit I've received in, oh God. Uh, I'm gonna add fuck off to the card. Um, there's a lot of shit like I've received in PR that I haven't really been able to play with. I played with it, but like, here's the thing about my, my play with it. It's like, again, you've never seen the video. Like I played with things and then I was like, oh. <sighs> BH Cosmetics has recently started to re-excite me. I also am going to pick up Let That Shit Go. You know why? Let That Shit Go. But I like, I don't. <laughs> I hold a grudge for an eternity. You know, good luck. Good luck uh, getting me to remove that grudge. But like, yes, I'm just, I don't know. And then do not disturb, I'm gonna pick that one up as well. Like, I just feel like I really like wanted these 
these four. So we're gonna go ahead and get those. It's not a big deal. I'm very excited. I am also Sue's shopping because um, I'm sad. I live in Texas. There's a lot of laws and things going on here that are really making it like the handmaiden's tale. So, so we're back from me buying some shit and we're gonna go ahead and categorize that one as what? Already bought it. That was extra as fuck for like literally no reason and I'm so sorry. I, like y'all don't understand the joy I have right now. Like you will on Wednesday and I feel like patrons might already know, but like we'll see, we'll see the, but yeah, you're, you're gonna know. I'm, yo. Okay, let me just tell you, I've missed like, <laughs> I need to pick this up. I just haven't yet. And y'all, y'all, I need to tell you a story. Mira Cosmetics is out here snatching everybody's wigs. They are scalping motherfuckers at this point. The, like all I really, I, like I love both of them, but it's the green that calls to me. It's the green palette that calls me. They have a new collection, it's the House of Avarice, and I'm like, I'm here for it, I'm here for it. I want the House of Avarice. I am very excited. I need to go pick that up, and I really, really, really want that. I want the green palette, because like, that is the one I love green now. Like, listen, there was a time in my life where I refused, refused to wear green eyeshadow because for so long I couldn't find ones that like did well on my schism. And then like I started finding people of color, black owned brands that really catered to like the right tone of green for deep skin. So I was like, bitch, yes, I know you're thinking, Audrey, you don't even have deep skin, you're brown skin. Listen, first of all, I ain't had sun in a year, so like, Let's not trip. But <laughs> I <laughs> am so excited by this and I just think it's so fucking gorgeous. Like the artwork just, ah. Uh, <clears throat> and I'm finished, thank you. It was a good one. It was good for me, I hope it was good for you. This was, um, like I cannot, like I don't even have words for it, the artwork, the swatches are beautiful. Mira Beauty is just one of the, like look the fuck out for them because like they are, like they're going to start going on an entire mission that we're literally not ready for. And I think that I'm going to, you I, I, like let me, um, I wanna put it on my face. So that is what we're gonna categorize it as because this color story is gorgeous. The House of Avarice makes sense. The color story from start to finish is like gorgeous. It's beautiful, it's making sense, it's looking good. And like they're really just, they're a brand that I really support because they, they're they out here just like not shying away from who they are. They're, they're not shying away from who they are. They're not shying away from supporting communities. Um, and I am, oop. Oop, random emotion, hold on. Hold on, I'm getting like randomly emotional and I don't know where it comes from. I think it's coming from these, but like they're out here just really doing the absolute most and they don't have to, they don't have to, but it, like I think one of the reasons that I'm kind of like emotionally connected to this brand as well as Drench, like there's a few indie brands that I am emotionally connected to and it is because I know how hard it is for per people of color and I know how difficult it is in the beauty landscape for people of color and LGBTQI, but like the LGBTQ mafia, like I like that because I'm part of it. But it's, it's so hard for us. It's so hard for us to get fucking anywhere. And I am just so ecstatic that they've like gotten here and they're doing so well. And I feel like just happy that they're able to get this going and that they're like so, like I, I can't even begin to explain like the supportiveness that they just regularly display. It's high, you know what I mean? Like these are brands that I can't even begin to like say enough about because I'm just like, these fools out here just really doing the absolute most, really making people feel seen and felt. And I still have the first palette I got from them. I haven't used it as much as I should, like that's what I'm saying. So I feel like 
what I'm like, and I meant to do this earlier, but I couldn't until this. But like, I think what I'm gonna start trying to do is on my Saturday live streams, I'm gonna try to go through and like use every single palette that I use. And some of them may just be, you know, on Patreon or whatever, but like, I am, Mira just does something and like my heart is full and I'm feeling like really emotional today, but like we're gonna call that put it on my face and we're gonna move on before I like cry anymore because it's like really awkward and I don't know how to handle um, emotions that aren't joy or anger. So let's move on. <laughs> All right, so I moved right back down on the line. The less I say about the better, it's like the less I say about this, the better. Obviously, I am drunk at this point. Uh, <laughs> ColourPop has the very lovely collection. I am, I don't, here's the thing. I feel like you have, again, if you own three ColourPop palettes that have any of the, like you have these shades, um, I'm trying to figure out what's lovely about it, honestly. Figure it out. And here's the thing about those lippy sticks, like, <laughs> y'all, I've had them before. Okay, don't anybody like come at me and be like, what I'm trying to tell you is I've had them before and I, they're so dry. Like they are ridiculously dry, like to a level that like I hate because you get it on your lips and honestly for me, maybe it's me, maybe it was the batch I received, but they're so damn dry that I quite literally cannot get past the dryness of them. Their lippy sticks, like I like at first I was like, oh, I love them, but like the sec, like it's on your lip and you're like, And then suddenly you're gall, I'm just like, he hates it. So I just don't love those. That I feel like the color story is kind of all over the place. It's not really cohesive to me. It has, like, and yeah, like Maya underscore LaBelle said, this doesn't interest me at all. I hope anyone who buys it enjoys it though. I, and I do, I hope you enjoy it if you like it, because obviously we can differ on a, on makeup, like we can't differ on whether or not people deserve rights, but we can definitely differ on makeup. Like this, this thing is not for me. I hope someone enjoys it. I just don't think that it's nice. The majority of the shades are not going to hit for me. Like I, like there's literally, like the shimmers are going to do well, but the majority of them, the mattes are not. And because of that, I just, I'm gonna have to say no to it and let us see what it is oh, in my, oh, it's like nothing. I'm, <laughs> you know what? I'm actually gonna call it same shit new packaging because I feel like we've seen these colors before from ColourPop in varying palettes and they're just at this point recycling them and trying to trick people into believing that like it's new. And it's not new, it's the same shit. They just put it in different packaging and they're like, it's very lovely. And like they're they're just recycling shades from other palettes and like doing that. So let us move forward in the party. So like, oh, I'm sweating. I'm sweating, I'm sweating. Okay, so next up we have, <laughs> The French Riviera palette. I don't know why I'm like laughing. So like also, yeah, I know I'm laughing. I'm drunk and I just like randomly giggle whilst boozed up. We have this French Riviera palette. Um, please hold, I'm still accessing my account. Why don't you enjoy a commercial break while I access it? All right, sports fans, we're back and it's Jouer Cosmetics that has the new French Riviera collection. Listen, we're not gonna talk about why I said it that way, we're just gonna move forward. It includes their matte and shimmer eyeshadow palette that contains nine foil matte and shimmer shades inspired by watercolor skies uh, and the shimmering Mediterranean Sea and picturesque beaches. Okay, I just want people to know that sunsets Okay, anyways, uh, and then it also has a, like a cheap blush and bloom cheek, honey kiss. Listen, we, we done known Jouer 
or as I like to say, Jewer. We done known Jewer is not for for the deep skins. We we know this, right? We're aware. I <laughs> I'm not even gonna keep talking about it. <laughs> I'm just gonna put it in this category because it's actually making me sad and somewhat depressed. And this is a total and palette. Teresa, Teresa, this is a total and palette because it just it has all the and vibes. Let me just explain. First Okay, here's the thing. This is a total Anne palette because if you are an Anne, you're like, I don't want my shimmers to be like too bright. So like the blue is like a little much, a little much. But like the rest of the, the other two shimmers you can like, you can dance with, you can take them to the prom, but like not be like, ah. Oh. And the blue is when you're trying to be a tart. You know, you're out there and you're like, <laughs> Today, I am getting deflowered. I will not, I will not be hindered by my virginity any longer. And so like, this is what the blue is for. I just feel like this is a very much Anne palette. It's like, it's got the Anne vibes. I ain't mad at it. I love it. I think it's cute in that respect. If I were uncooked chicken, you know what? I'd probably like it. I put my hand out to reach for the end of the chair and I grabbed nothing. Alcohol is a bitch. Moving on. We're gonna move on. <laughs> At this point, we're done. I, like, because I, 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 I realized with the collection that I have, I'm not gonna hit bingo. I'm talking about one more thing because this thing has ignited, uh, <laughs> like, the hood has poked through. I, listen, I am, cause we're not gonna hit bingo. There's, uh, these are facts. I'm fully aware I'm not gonna hit bingo. And honestly, I just want to talk about this collection for the next 17 minutes of my life, if that's even possible. Listen, Baby Bat Beauty. <laughs> <laughs> Release tons of eyeshadow singles. There are five new matte shades, five shimmers, and three pressed glitters. I'm probably, like, I, I, here's the thing. I like pressed glitters for very specific things. I know a lot of people don't like them. I like them for very specific things because sometimes when I'm doing something a little more artsy, that's where my pressed glitter comes in. Um, uh, mm, so, first of all, <laughs> Okay, listen, I feel like Baby Bat Beauty understands me as a person. I, um, because I am not a, for the most part, I am not a the world is ending goth. Uh, I'm kind of, I'm, I'm kind of punk and like, you know, anti-capitalist, not as much for the anarchy. Whew. But I feel like they just understand like what it is that, cause they have a summer goth palette. A summer goth palette. Mm. Listen to me. Because I am in a mood where I'm like, just enjoy your best life however the fuck you want to enjoy it. I am living for this. And they have, listen, look at this picture. Okay, first of all, look at this picture. Do you see a black person who's a goth on their page? Yes, you fucking do. Listen, my money goes to places like this. I'm never gonna hit bingo. I'm aware of that. I looked at all of the offerings that we had and it's not gonna happen. I should have said that at the beginning. I'm sure Teresa did because Teresa has forethought and I do not. But we are gonna end this bingo potentially pledging my soul to the summer goth palette. Like I kind of, I, oh gosh, my, oh. Okay, listen, what's gonna happen here is I'm probably going to buy it and I don't care because this is uh, my life. Like I just, oh, and they have apparel, wait. You know what, I can, oh, they have a mask that says baby bat. <laughs> I cannot stop burping at this point. It's too late in the game for me to like not burp. I, oh shit. I, oh gosh, I, I don't know what to do. Oh, diamond blood highlighters, bitch, what? I keep reaching for this chair that I cannot actually touch. Okay. 
boom. Okay, okay, here's what we're gonna do. And that is the end of this super weird new makeup nonsense bingo. There will be no bingo at all. It's just me roasting things, and I feel like most of us roasting things, and also potentially buying things. I bought as much as I could this round because again, I'm about to like enter into the soul-sucking job market and go back to like working in the corporate world, and once that happens, like I'm like dial everything down. Uh, because I'm gonna have to pay for gas to get to and from places. I've been driving my mom's car everywhere. So yeah, that is it. There will be no bingo, but like my heart and soul is full. I have an abundance of joy. I'm so happy that any of you watched it to this level. Like, thank you for watching the video this long. I'm getting emotional again. <laughs> I, I don't know what to say. I'm just a really, um, I'm just overwhelmed and happy and joyful. I don't really know that there's words to put into how much I appreciate all of you who watch my videos and you watch them to the fucking end. Like, I, I truly don't. Like, I, y'all the real ones, I don't even know what to say. I, the fact that there's almost 10,000 people who watch me, like, kind of blows me the fuck away. Like, I don't know what to do with it. So anyway, huge shout out. Out to my patrons, spooky base, yeah. Y'all know the drill, it costs zero, zero dollars to be kind. It's so good for your soul, like honestly. It will be paid back to you. I know it may not be paid back the way that you think it's gonna be paid back, but it damn sure will be paid back to you. Uh, and until next time, XOXO. <laughs> Got the girl. <laughs> oh my god, I look so cute. Look at me looking cute as a butt with glasses. These blue light glasses are saving my life. Burn mm, when I put the tongue in the crack of my ass. But all I can do is just offer you my love. Ah, uh, spectacles. Doing the most. Doing the absolute most spectacle. D to the A to the A to the M. How I do things. That wasn't sexy, I'm so sorry. O to the N to the D to the pearls of love. Like my armpits are actually like, <laughs> like there's wetness. Whoo child, it's hot in this beach. <laughs> I don't know why I'm crying.